Hey, how's it going? My name's Corey, and we're here to do a returning player guide. There are a lot of new player guides on YouTube, but you already know the basics of the game, right? So here is what you've been missing if you haven't been playing the game for a couple years. Let's get into it. First, and probably the most sad thing is the uh, Flash player is gone now. You cannot play the game in your browser. Surprise, surprise. Uh, just click the download here, download launcher, which will open up this window here, and then just click play on here like you would, and it'll bring you back to the normal AQ experience that you had in the browser just as like its own application it's still the same flash game it's basically just emulating a flash player in its like own window so yeah rx entertainment is working on a new version of the game called infinity and this will take your account and everything all the items and everything you have on your account and transfer it over to a game running on the unity game engine instead of flash player which is old and outdated and doesn't even function anymore into a brand new game engine so uh, this will run at a better frame rate all that stuff it looks uh, it, anyway we don't need to go into the negatives or positives of it but it'll be a overall positive trade-off hopefully uh and this should be coming up sometime at the end of this year if you're watching this video when it's first uploaded or sometime early in 2024 we'll, we'll see but it should be sometime soon you can wishlist it on steam if you'd like to be notified when it actually comes out they'll email you when it actually releases if you want to wishlist Okay, so assuming that you played the game before and you're returning, now in the actual game, you'll notice a new bar is probably the first thing you'll see when you when you boot it up. That's a stamina bar. So for example, if you click your space bar, I think it's the default bind for it, and then you tap somewhere on the screen or click somewhere on the screen, uh, it'll make your character run a little bit faster. So that's your normal movement speed. And then if you space bar, click it, you move a bit faster. And then if you use your heal, it'll regen it a little bit faster as well. So just like your health and mana and stuff. So pretty cool little feature they added. Uh, also up here, you can hide monsters by clicking on the little monster tab thing. That's that's a newer feature. Uh, this is for quest pinning. So if you pin a quest, it'll pop up there. Uh, this will open, this button will open and close your item drops. Uh, if you have a certain, it's a little finicky to click on it for me for some reason. I might like depend on your resolution or something, but I can't, I can't click on it there. So see it disappears that item box and reappears. Uh, now the item box, the way I have it, this won't be the way it'll look default for you. Default, you have to go in your settings under advanced options, which you might have to click here to open on the menu there. Uh, so once you have your advanced options, you can search for things. So if you want like different item drops, just search item, so ground items, uh, drops might be the one. Uh, yeah, so custom drop UI, turn that on. And I have a whole video going over all the advanced options, so we're not going to be doing that in this video. I'll leave that linked in the description if you'd like to see me explaining what every option does and if you should or should not be using it and why you'd want, it, want or not want to use every option. I have a very detailed video about that. Check it out. It'll be linked in the description. All right, another new feature that was added that is also really cool and part of the UI sort of is the ability to equip an item cosmetically. Now, there is a system like this called outfit sets they don't have a cosmetic variation so this is outfit but this just means your class setup so if you have a class and specific enhancements you like to use for that class uh you can add that as you can equip that onto your character then click add as outfit set uh there's a bind for this you have to set i'm pretty sure and to do that you go in here and type in keybinds so you search keybinds in here open that and then under keybinds it will be uh the outfits one here so uh, you want to set that, I set mine to Z, but I, it might have a default bind. I think I changed mine. So just look for that in the keybind setting and you can actually create outfits. So like I went for Varus Doom Knight, Void High Lord, Lightcaster, Archmage. I think this one's for a certain class too, but the name like uh, resets up. So you can edit these, uh, you can change whatever items have on it. But these are just for enhancements. They're not cosmetics ones. They do plan on adding a cosmetic version of the system to the game. But for now, they're functionally just for enhancements. But there is a system in the game to actually show cosmetics over your enhanced gear. So my character right now has a VHL equipped. And I you can see I have like Necromancer locks, but that's not the actual hair I have on. The actual hair I have on is a different one because you can now set cosmetic hairs or tops. So I have the operator locks on. And if you click on an item and then you click show instead of equip, that will show the item every other person will see it and uh, this is what it will, it will show for everyone including yourself but you'll still have the enhanced item on underneath and you can change that with the sets that i showed previously if you hit that keybind so 
it's a really good way of switching between classes and enhancements and stuff without having to like redo your whole set every time very nice and being able to show stuff is really nice so if you want to use unarmed all the time you can <laughs> if you want to use a different uh, weapon you can have it show and you can still have your damage boosted weapon or whatever underneath so very cool system there yeah okay so the next thing if you're a returning player they added a new type of enhancement to the game called forge enhancements now these are sort of starting to be more spread out around the game they recently added a dungeon that had a specific enhancement to it as well the Grimskull Dungeon Part 2. You might remember the original Grimskull Dungeon. They made a Part 2 for that that has a new enhancement in it. But uh, most of the enhancements are located at the Forge in Battleon, which they kind of changed Battleon Town, so you can't really get into... Uh, so they redid this whole map and everything. To get into the actual Forge through Battleon Town, you have to go uh, to the left now. Instead, of, like, they took the door off of here for... I don't... Don't ask me why they did that, but <laughs> the Forge is here. And you can go in. You can go into here, into the Gray Arrow. That'll take you into another map, into the actual Forge, or just slash join the Forge. You click on the Anvil in here. There'll be quests uh, for helmet, weapon, and cape. So those are a different type. So cape has has its own specific ones. There's one quest I haven't done for the cape yet. So it'll have some requirements. And once you do it, uh, you will get a specific enhancement. Now these enhancements will do certain things. They're kind of like the on enhancements of old, so they have all the on enhancements listed here. Those are still in the game, they'll still work, and they still can be good uh, for specific classes. But they added new uh, forge enhancements that have specific traits. Uh, things like smite uh, dealing 450% hybrid damage on a 15 second cooldown with a 100% chance to activate on your fifth skill. So every time you hit your fifth, or every 15 seconds on your fifth skill, you'll get 450% hybrid damage. So lots of different things like that. And then there's different enhancements for your helmet and cape that don't do like the weapon like they're different style of enhancements uh so you can see for cape uh this is the cape enhancement it will increase your heal boost by 50 percent but decreases your damage dealt by 15 so you get some more survivability but a bit less damage uh so there's like trade-offs for each one of these enhancements i'd read through them try to find ones that you like uh maybe look up guides for certain classes what enhancements you should be using for those uh they just kind of add a little bit more build diversity to classes and they're also kind of harder things to farm in the game. So it can be a little, uh, just something to do for the end game. If you're a returning player, you might want to look into trying to get some of these forge enhancements for your class. If you're into decorating houses, they change the houses. So they will retain all of the items in them, even when you swap houses. So if I go to edit my house, change my house to the icy pirate ship from the one I have right now, it'll say it's being swapped, kicks you out, puts you back. And as you can see, I already have decorations in this one. They saved from last time. And I've never really had this bug out on me or anything. So it seems pretty consistent. So you can decorate to your heart's content, swap your house, you'll still have your decorations. And there is a button to clear your house as well. So if you want to restart with fresh and then just start placing decorations again in the house, you can do that as well. So really cool little house update they added if you like decorating your house. If you're returning from before 2017, uh, they do a thing called collection chests, or I call them 10k chests because they cost 10,000 ACs. Uh, and I think I called them 10k chests before they called them collection chests. Anyway, but, uh, so, to get a collection chest, this is like their new way of monetizing the game. You never have to buy the whole 10k chest. I feel like a lot of people in the game think you do from reading comments and stuff. You don't. Uh, it's just, it's just what's in the quibble shop. If you want to get the whole shop, all the rare items from the Quibble shop all at once. But you can always just buy individual ones. You never actually have to buy the whole 10k chest. A lot of the times, it's not worth it to get the whole thing. But that's a new way that they're monetizing the game uh, since the last time. There's not really any other way. Uh, other than the fact that upgrade packs uh, in the past, uh, they're still displayed here. But they never go rare. Um, and they'll specifically state if they do. And there, it's been a long time since the last rare one, like years. Uh, so the upgrade packs never go rare now and you still get an upgrade pack every time uh, you spend any money on the game uh, speaking of monetization a new ac pack was added for a hundred dollars uh, previously the highest one they had believe it or not was 40 uh, for the longest time until like a year like in the last year they added the, the hundred dollar one uh, which is interesting uh, and with the actual hundred dollar one uh, it gives you bonus. They give they do bonus ACs all the time. It's kind of not worth buying ACs unless there's a bonus going on for 50% more. Uh, so you'll get uh, 60k AC instead of 40 here. Uh, it's really nice. 
Uh, and you also get an item of donate with this. If you haven't been playing for a long time, the Wheel of Doom returned with item of donates. An item of donate lets you redeem it once you have an item of donate for any rare item in the game. With some exceptions like Hero Mart stuff or staff items, of course. But, you know, within me, within reason, any rare item in the game. Or you can redeem it for even like an item you wouldn't want to farm, like getting an SOD or whatever. Although if you do that, it'll be tagged as item of donate and you can't use it for quests, which is very annoying. But, you know, something they do to incentivize you to actually farm it. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, if you're ever buying ACs. It's really not worth buying any other any AC package other than the max one with a bonus running. Uh, as you can see, there is a bonus running right now, 50% more. If you're ever curious if there is a bonus running, uh, click on the package to buy it. And then on the next page, it will tell you bon bonus special offer. There'll be text right down here. There's no text right here. You're not going to get bonus ACs. So make sure you'll look at that. If you're returning and you're looking for quest lines to do, there's basically only one I'd recommend of recent. Uh, of course, there was one from like ages ago, the Darkness Saga, which introduced Arch Paladin and uh, stuff like that. Really good saga. If you've never done that, go do that if you haven't. Uh, also, if you go into the game menu here and you go to Adventures, the Darken Saga is also pretty good. That's one of the more recent ones is, uh, that has happened. Uh, centers around a bunch of a group of new NPCs, which are kind of like new main characters in the story. Even though they ended the Darken Saga, they're still in the game in the story for some. I don't. I don't know why that's the thing. But anyway, uh, so to be familiar with those characters, you probably want to play the Saga because they're basically like new main characters for the game. Uh, so would highly recommend that. Uh, they also ended uh, the 13th Lord, uh, Chaos Lord saga again. Like they ended the main story again and they're starting a new one now. I, trying to explain AQ World's lore, you, you could dedicate a whole channel to this and upload daily and you probably would have years of content because it, it's, it's just needlessly complicated. But it basically ended a storyline recently and they're starting a new one. And the last storyline was kind of still connected to the 13th Lords of Chaos, but the new one is kind of more connected to the Dark and Saga than it is the 13th Lords of Chaos. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're a returning player, you probably just want to do the Dark and Saga. It's the main point to take away from what I'm saying here. If you need XP, I still have an XP guide if you're not level 100, which is the current level cap in the game. Would recommend you get up there uh, doing boss fights and stuff. People are going to want expect it to be at least level like 90 plus uh if not on 100 uh so you, you probably will get um people will probably not be too happy with you if you're trying to do some of the end game content and you're not maxed out at level uh so i'll leave also linked in the description um an xp guide that is up to date current goes through like what places you should be farming at each individual level so if you're at this level farm here if you're at this level farm here stuff like that so check out that video link description that i made uh, that's still up to date all right, that's where we're going to leave you off at. Hopefully, I got you up to date. I hope I didn't miss anything. A lot of things have changed recently. They had a new developer added to the team called Spider, and he's uh, he's, he's been churning out actually really cool updates for AQ, so I thought I'd go over some of those in this video. Get you up to date if you're returning from not playing for quite a few years from now. So, hey, right, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, uh, AQ Infinity is good. Wish list that on Steam. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next one. Leave a like on the video if you like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I do a news video every Thursday on the channel if you want to keep up to date with all the new items and stuff being added to AQ Worlds. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.